Well, that's how my day's going. It has been a bad year for flats. I'm pretty sure this is the fourth flat I've had this year, and we're only halfway through, so... Jesus. But, uh, but yeah, stuck on the side of the road, CAA says it'll be two fucking hours. Which, I mean... I don't know, when I had the Camaro, and every now and then I needed to get it towed, they'd always say 45 minutes, and it always took two hours. So I'm hoping that two hours doesn't actually mean 10 hours. Maybe I'll be lucky and it means 45 minutes. I miss Nova Scotia. In Nova Scotia, if you called the tow truck, even if it was on the other side of the province, it's only 20 fucking minutes away. But, uh, this is actually the spare. <laughs> And uh, I guess the tire is probably 22 years old because it would have come with the truck. So I'm not all that surprised that uh, the tread's perfect. The fucking sidewall gave out. And you can even tell looking at it, the sidewall is properly fucked. But uh... But yeah, so it was already on the spare because the... Uh... The original tire fucking locked the wheels up and it literally just ripped the tread clean off the tire. The tire itself held air perfectly fine, it just had no tread on it. Now I'm just sitting here waiting. And then I gotta sit here for two hours sweating my dick off in the fucking sun. And then I'm gonna have to have it towed home so I can put on the other fucking spare. And the reason the other spare isn't in the truck is because one, the tire isn't very good. And uh, two, uh, the truck for whatever reason didn't come with a jack. I don't know if the previous owner... Well, the previous owner took the wheel off the back. So, oh god. Run, little kitty. Don't stop. Don't turn around. What are you doing? Get off the fucking road. What are you doing? I don't know if you can see that. But this little bastard's taking his sweet time crossing the road. I don't know what that is. It doesn't look like a kitty. But, uh... Yeah, so there's no jack in the truck. None of my jacks are big enough. And to be perfectly honest, I've got CAA for a reason. I don't want to fucking... Like, I, well, once I get home, I'm going to change it myself. But I don't want to change it at the side of the road. Fucking, I had to do that earlier this year when my Impala blew a tire. Pissing fucking rain. Changing the tire. And, of course, it had to be on the driver's side. So fucking every bit of traffic's nearly running me down. But... Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, when I get home, I'll put on the spare tire, and uh, then I'll take this rim to uh, to the garage and be like, "Hey, can you get me a new tire?" But fuck, it's it's weird because it's like if you're going to have a bunch of problems one after another, you would rather it be little things like the tires all being shit because this is the third tire to go on this truck, and uh, I'd rather it be that than like it's the third starter. Or some other stupid nonsense. <sighs> and what better way to spend two hours sitting on the side of the road than to have a audiobook of a John Grisham novel? Eight cassettes. I don't know why, but it just did. Uh, ooh, fifty-five dollar value for only thirty bucks. Uh, I don't know why, but it honestly never occurred to me that they would have audiobooks and cassette and vinyl. But, uh, cause yeah, that's just like, oh, well that's just a new thing. People used to read books. Cause now I have a few audiobooks on cassette and I actually have a Jack Nicholson audiobook of a children's story on vinyl. But, uh... But here we go, brand new unopened cassettes from 93. These were literally made the year I was born. I wonder if they'll work. Because, yeah, I literally just said to cut open the plastic. Visit us on the internet. <laughs> Alright. Oh, nope, 
Is it, is it already in there? Oh, fuck. Oh. Sales of Brussels livestock. Plan to attend Cargill auction market sale on... I was listening to uh, Bob Seeger when the tire blew. All right. I don't even know which fucking... It's a double-sided tape deck, and I don't like that because I would much rather the tape play and then stop, and I have to pull it out and flip it because then I know what side it's on. I can cue it to whatever track, track I want to. But because it's double-sided, it doesn't matter which way I stick it in, it plays whichever damn side it damn well wants, and you can't fucking cue it. See what I mean? I don't even know if it's playing. Here we go. The Client is narrated by Blair Brown, who starred in a bunch of things I've never heard of. Bantam Doubleday Dell Audio Publishing presents The Client by John Grisham.